Hi Divas! As promised, I'm doing a whip and chat. This is more progress on my Josephine Wall Mystery Kit. Okay. 3861, do I have more? And I'm going to start with little goals at first. I'm going to keep doing that and I'm going to start with little goals. Like, well, like I said, um, smallest goal I can start with is um, washing my dishes. Keeping my dishes washed. Yeah, I shouldn't care. Yep, 3861, here's a whole one left. I shouldn't care <clears throat> that I have to live up to somebody else's standards about it. But, um... That's not the idea. That's not the idea. The idea is that it will make me happy. So, it's a reward for myself. That's the idea. And that's why I'm going to do it. It's a reward for myself. And I'm going to concentrate on the rewards. Concentrate on... Um, oops. On noticing the rewards. You know, it's like noticing when the air is warm outside all of a sudden, you know? Or noticing that a new flower has bloomed. You have to take the time to actually look. So if I'm running through my day, I'm not being present to the day, to what I'm doing, I can't notice the reward. So actually being present in the moment is a reward in itself because you're noticing things you may not have seen otherwise. And I think that is awesome. I think that is self-care. And I'm going to continue on that vein. Um, and I'm going to continue on that vein. I'm going to try to be mindful of, like, when I'm done a chore, how good it feels to be done how good it looks when it's done, how satisfying it is when it's finished. Okay, because I don't, I don't like to clean. <laughs> or at least, I don't think I like to clean. I like a clean house, but I don't like to get it clean. I like things organized. I don't mind getting things organized, but I can't keep it that way. And all the best organizers tell you that the best way to organize after you're done is to keep it that way by, as soon as you're done with something, putting it away where it belongs. Well, if, if you have stuff everywhere, then nothing has a place that it belongs, and you can't put it away because it doesn't have a place. That's part of my problem. I have too much stuff in the space, so I can't organize it. And then I can't put things away when I'm done with them because where do I put it? Oh, on top of something else. I'm noticing a pattern here. So the best organizers tell you that when you're done with something, everything has its place and you put it back in its place. And you clean off your area as soon as you're done so that it's open and ready and waiting for you to come back to it. And that's what I want. I want a space that is waiting for me. That says, come here. Come spend some time with me. Where my muse is coaxing me over. And I look at all these wonderful colors. And I look at all the fun things sitting around. Well, see now, all the fun things sitting around. Am I going to have fun things sitting around? Yes, I hope so. I hope I'm going to have ideas, bins with ideas that I've started or that 
I need to start. See, I've only got two on the end of there, so I'm just going to pop that in there like that. And sometimes I only get two on a four placer and stick that in there like that. It's easy. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Here we go. Ta da! That didn't work. You know. It's always got to be a pain when you're talking about it, right? All right, I'll start down here now. <clears throat> so anyway, I have to make up these little um, games. I play games with myself. Like, if I finish reading a book, I've got to finish two magazines. And believe me, I've got stacks of magazines and stacks of articles I pulled out of magazines that I would love to read and that I'm still interested in. It's not just a matter of having the time. It's a matter of choosing to get it done. You know, I forget that it's there. Out of sight, out of mind is really a problem with me. I'm a visual person and I remember what I see and visual clues are the best clues for me because I pick up on visual clues and I guess that's why my hoarding is a problem for me too because it's a visual mess it's visual chaos and it doesn't calm me down when I need to be calm when I need to be anxiety free well that's probably not possible but you know what I mean when I need to you're multi-placing putting them in top to bottom vertical rather than horizontal you know this way rather than this way if you can see that it works better and I it does look better it just does it works out very nicely that way and I've got a bunch over here too okie dokie Oop. it's actually only three so I'm gonna start down here Oop, stow away Sorry if you see the picture jump a little bit. That usually means that I've had to cut out something for noise. Like a car going by or the sump pump going on. Which you can hear through my sink. I'm doing laundry at the same time. So you're going to, you know, I hope I cut out all those obnoxious noises that try to happen. But in case I don't get to... I apologize. Just remember that I have new uh, cover minders on my Etsy shop. Some are Diva Crowns. And I will give away a free Diva Crown and two other cover minders to anyone who also purchases a one of my kits, one of my scrapbooking kits. I have some different kinds of themed scrapbooking kits that I am de-stashing. They are there if you're into that, if you're into paper crafts. I've had them up for a while and I would like to sell them and get them mailed out to you because they're sitting here underneath my table and I would like to get them going to bless somebody else since I know they're not going to be blessing me anytime soon 
Oh, uh, what else? If you haven't subscribed yet, I wish you would. It's a free way to help me continue making my YouTubes and my cover minders and having fun with crafts and allowing me some time to share the fun with you. So, <coughs> there's that. I also have down there, if you are interested in the bi-monthly or, I don't know if it's bi-monthly, uh, every other month, is that every other month? I don't mean two in one month, I mean every other month. Uh, giveaways. Diamond painting giveaways. Then you need to fill out the member's questionnaire. You need to be a member of my YouTube channel here. I give heads up if you're on my Facebook group, my Wanda's Work Basket Facebook group, then you will also get a heads up, you know, right before I pull a winner. <coughs> I haven't um, put any goop in my pen since I started this a couple hours ago, so I'm going to put more in. Get a pretty butterfly on there. Okay, so I, I encourage you to fill out the, <clears throat> the questionnaire that's down below and email it back to me at wandasworkbasket.gmail at gmail.com. <clears throat> I will send something back to you that says, hey, I got your questionnaire, and that means you are signed up for any of the next giveaways. You just have to do this once. It has your preferences on it. Let's me know what you like and dislike so that I'm not going to send you something. Like if you don't like religious things, I'm not going to send you um, a church-related one. If you do holidays, I'll send you a holiday one. I've got so many to gift and to de-stash, and I want to gift them away. I want to be a blessing to you. I want this channel to be a blessing to you. I want it to be encouragement and an uplifting as we do our fun stuff together because this is, like I said, this is my self-care, my de-anxiety thing. And if I can help you be less anxious and learn a few things and accompany you and inspire you along the way, um, that's what I aim to do. Okay, so that's my goal here, just to inspire you and to have you keep going and know that there's somebody in your corner, that I want to be in your corner, that I want to, uh, I want to bless you with my videos and, and that. So, okay, so that back to the giveaways. I want to bless you with, you know, all the extra stuff I've got sitting around. If you are able to help with postage, that's fine. I have a Buy Me a Tea link down there, which you can make a donation toward that. And that will help me send the goodies off to the winner, whether it be overseas or not. I like to keep them within the United States, but I will mail one overseas. Like the, I, I will do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. I have a job. I don't make that much, but I. it's important to me to include everybody. So, not just those in the United States. Right, Talita? Oh, I want to start interviewing people. I want to do a live because I want to have, you know, fun conversations with you guys. With the divas. I want to have fun conversations with designers with companies that um, pay their designers by licensing their artwork. 
I want to uh, interview small shop owners like mine, like my Etsy shop. I want to, there's lots and lots and lots of stuff I want to do. And part of it's interviews. So if you're interested, um, let me know, you know, if you want to hear a live, if you just want to hang out and work together, do a whip live so that we're all just sort of working together on our favorite things at the moment. We can. I would need help online doing the online stuff at the same time. Of course, the giveaways could be live and in person. In person. That would be fun. I'd like to cooperate with another YouTuber on maybe a um, a challenge month of some kind. A challenge month of some kind. That would be fun. What challenges would you like to do? I I'm into a J wall. I'm telling you, I am into a J wall challenge. I know there's another YouTuber who did it. I didn't find out until today that there was one, or I probably would have participated just for the fun of it. What designers would you like to see interviewed? Would you like to ask questions of? I have a, a short list and I'm hoping I get some response. I got response from Chuck Pinson and I do plan to do my interview with Chuck Pinson. I just haven't figured out the technology yet, and that's the only thing that's keeping me from it. And honestly, so many things can go wrong with technology that it, it scares me a little bit, and it shouldn't. I, I want to get interviews in with my favorite designers and my favorite people. And you, as viewers, are some of my favorite people. I appreciate all your support, the, the hours that you've watched, the, um, the comments that you put in there, the, you know, sharing the ideas with other members. Um, be you know like a sign up a friend month or something like that and if you sign up several friends maybe I can send you a free um, a free diamond painting or some cover minders or something from my shop that would be fun wouldn't it Would you like to have a free set of cover minders? I like to send them out three at a time because that's that's kind of the way they um, are easiest to mail. And getting three out of the box at a time is also nice to see. I had trouble last month getting into my Etsy shop. I had trouble with, I don't know, somebody was hacked my password or something and took it over so I wasn't able to get, um, I, I had gotten the email that I had sold some cover minders and I got the cover minders out in time but I couldn't get into my shop to put in the tracking number and that kind of thing. So it looks like it took a long time, but it didn't. Anybody, uh, anybody I sold to, you email any one of them, they'll tell you that I got it there within a week or so. I get them out as soon as the orders come in. 
so. Wow. Oh. Come on now. What else? What else? What else? <laughs> if you haven't seen, I have some tip videos. If you haven't seen them, I have some other whip and chats. I have every month I do a review of what I've crafted that month. Not just diamond painted, but crafted. The last one I put up was from March, and it had um, some cards that I made out of collaging magazine pictures and stuff. And so, and I had a, a couple diamond paintings up in there as well, and a special drill project that I did. Um, <clears throat> and I, I put them up not as, oh, look what I got done, but I put them up to inspire you to keep working. And, oh, oh, and I had uh, made some junk journals. So I'm, I'm making beads for junk journals and stuff right now, too. And I haven't put them on an Etsy shop. I'm just using them for my own right now because I have a gazillion junk journals that I'm making. You might even get a free junk journal in with your order if you order one of the scrapbooking boxes. Yes, I can do that. So if you're hanging around and you look at the scrapbooking boxes, I will send you a free pre-made junk journal with beads hanging off of it. Handmade beads. And And a cover minder. How about that? It can also be a needle minder. If you're a needle worker, it can hold your needles while you're working because you know it's going to, if you leave it in the fabric, it's going to rust. You know, if you don't, if you're not working on your project and you put it away for a month or something like that, it's going to rust and leave a mark in your fabric, which sucks. You know what I did? I think. I think I used the wrong color in part of it. <laughs> Crap. I bet you I did. See, I'm not paying attention here. No, that's fine. That's fine where it is. No, I've been using the right color. See? I have to second guess myself. I developed. Sorry, that's dutchy. It's a bit dutchy. All right, where are the other squiggles? Here they are. Pennsylvania Dutch. I said my grandmother's family is Pennsylvania Dutch. And from what I've been able to gather, they come from the Black Forest southern region of Germany. Schwarzwald. Okay, that's that symbol. We're making progress here, babies. How long do you diamond paint at one shot? I'd love to know. How long do you sit and do your diamond painting? An hour? Half an hour? Six hours? I tell you, I've been known to do a 12-hour shot. 
I have been known to do 12 hour shots. Sometimes complete overnight. My sleep schedule is really weird. Like maybe yours is too. Um, I normally, I can't get to sleep before 3 a.m. And that's an early night for me. Between 3 to 5 a.m. Come on, get off of the thing here. Thank you. And that means I, that means I sleep until 10, 11. I don't get to, have to go to into work till 4 most days. So, I, when I get home, well, I work four to midnight, two days a week, and then I work Friday afternoon and evening, but I get, a, I get home at night, get out at nine, and then I'm in early on Saturday, and I get out even earlier on Saturday, so I have Saturday night, <clears throat> Sunday night, Tuesday night, and Thursday night, that I can be up diamond painting. So I can be, I can diamond paint for four to 12 hours in a shot. <clears throat> I can do it up overnight. Nobody's bugging me. And again, I put my hand slide it over the finished drill area so that I can pop any back in right away that are sticking up a little bit. You hear that satisfying click? Yeah, baby. Okie dokie. Do I have any hourglass? Yes, I do. Shaky, shaky. This is the time I like it. I like it a lot when I am going through and and filling in the holes that are left, and I see another part of the picture come to life. Isn't that fun? I like that part. So, like I said at the bottom, I want to know how long you do in a session, in a diamond painting session. Um, what are you working on? What do you use your spare drills for? Uh, who you would like to uh, like to have to know more about? Which designer would you like to know more about? What's your favorite designer right now? Artist. And let's see, would you like to do, would you like to work along with the live with me sometime? Anybody chat savvy enough to work along with me, to co-host with me? So invite your friends over to see my sneak peeks. If you want to check out the kits before deciding whether you want to buy it yourself, and I have a Diamond Club affiliate link, 15% off your very first order, Diamond Art Club. And after that, there's coupons all over the place the Diamond Art Club gives you on your packing slip and... Uh, in the thank you booklet of instructions and on the box itself they're mostly 10 percenters so at least you can get another 10 percent off they have sales all the time and I like I said I do more than Diamond Art Club I just I'm grateful that after, you know, what had happened <clears throat> last year that they decided that they wanted to work with me and help me grow my channel 
and you know make up for some lost time. So I'm I'm grateful for that, and they have a new gal in the in there working on uh, working with all the social media people. So there's new ways that they're doing things, and I'm learning a lot that way. Um, so I'll, whatever I learn, I'll pass along to you. Of course. Let's see. And again, I do this so that I can pick out the drills that are... not quite clicked in. There we go. And I have a few more here to look for. I don't think I have any... Oh, yes I do. Yes I do. I need to find 3854. I need to find the, the extras of 3854 along the way here. It's a light colored one, right? Yeah, it's a yellow. No yellows in here. I just, no yellows in there. Definitely yellows in here. 3854, ta-da! Now I'm just so grateful that Diamond Art Club is working with me, and I know I don't have a thousand subscribers yet. I know that it takes almost 5,000 subscribers before they do an affiliate with you. And I know I'm low person on the totem pole, but I'm just very grateful that I get the chance uh, to sneak peek some things because it does bring people to my, to my YouTube channel and there are they are one of my five top five favorite favorite companies because they're just so awesome they strive to be the best in the business and many believe that to be true what can I say oh one way that I identify the drills is that when I open a pack and I have of others left over I just leave the identifying packaging in there with those extra drills so that I I don't have to guess. All right, 3854. I know what the symbol is that I need to find. Da -da 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 -da. <coughs> Are you watching this come to life like I am? I love that. I'll do more whipping chats. I mean, if you like them, I will do more. <clears throat> I will always try to have something encouraging to say. Some new tidbit that I've learned that I can share with you. Uh, some updates on what's happening on my site. And my shop. And some updates on what's happening in my family and if you want to know when the next drawing will be you can sign up for the Facebook group as well when I get to 8,000 I can also start maybe start monetizing some of it so that I get a little bit back for doing it but you know that's that's a perk. That's a side perk. My The perk for me is being able to just play around with the craft I love. And I love teaching, so, you know, I'm able to do that, too. I don't want to give this up. There we go. Extras into the pot here. So what do I do with my extra drills? Because I do save all those extra drills, especially, you know, they say there's like, Diamond Art Club gives 20% extra. You're always going to have some drills left. Sometimes you need them if you accidentally spill them. 
been there, done that. Uh, sometimes you need them if there are some trash drills in there, and there will be a few. Let me see what I need from this bag here. Oops. If I don't close the container good enough, then I have these little drills that like to fly out over the handle here. Okay, this one I need. Some double dots as I'm filling in the holes. This teal is such a beautiful color. Now get off of there. Okay. My shoulder is aching. I gotta take a pain pill. <sighs> I don't like to take pain pills because they make me sleepy. Well, pretty soon I can assign all the papers um, following an accident, so I can tell you more about that. It was two years ago now, almost two years ago, two years in July. I still had pain from that. I can tell you more about it now that I signed all my paperwork and everything. And next whip and chat, maybe I'll go in to get into that. I had an injury, a pretty bad injury that I'm still trying to completely recover from. So there's that. I keep pushing this back. I'm trying to straighten some of the drills and I keep pushing it backwards. They don't, square drills don't go so close to each other that you don't see any of the little white space be behind it. It seems that, I don't know, maybe the canvas shrinks to them or something, but you don't notice the white space behind it when you're standing away from the painting. You don't notice it when there's a backing, when you frame it or put a backing behind it. And you don't notice it when you're across the room from it, you know? So there has to be a tiny little bit of a space there. Will I have any down, yep, I have some down hours I was missing. Just a few. I gotta quit and give my shoulders a break. I wanna finish this section, then I will quit. And not before. Again, this is the Josephine Wall Mystery Painting. They are no longer available. It was a limited edition. And I am so in love with Josephine Wall's mystical um, paintings. I have a selection of, I have a playlist, a Josephine Wall playlist. I have gotten her, her fabric, a couple of her fabrics. I've gotten, you know, other things that she's licensed that just will enhance my life. I've gotten a couple books about her. I finished reading the uh, one biography. I have some of the wisdom cards. I've been using them. They've been really been fun. Fun to use. Okay. And maybe I'll do some Josephine Wall wisdom cards with you. Maybe I could do that. I could do one of them a day, you know. I can't promise a day. But in between things, maybe I can do one. I do one a week, and I think about it all week. I pull one. I do my devotions first. Now I read my scriptures and write out my prayers and do my um, my crafty 
devotion, my, my artsy spiritual practice. And then, and then I pull a Josephine Wall card and I think about what it might mean to me. Now, I don't, I don't use it in the mystical sense like, like, you know, tarot cards or anything like that. I don't imbue them with extra terrestrial, you know, extra sensory perception type of power. I think the power in them, just like uh, when you're reading scripture, is letting the spirit work within you. And what does it mean to me right in this moment where I'm at? And I think you can gather wisdom from anywhere that it comes up. Just like somebody ha says uh, something to you that it rings true for you. I heard... Uh, a saying this week that I absolutely love, let your mess be your message. And I'm like, yeah, that makes total sense. And it, it kind of goes along with why I want to like share, uh, share my hoarding with you. It sounds like craziness. It probably is, because everybody's going to see it for what it is. Craziness. Where's the other ones then? Here. All right. I have to put these two back in here. I don't want to keep going in front of you like that. Load that back in here. I want to load that extra one back in here. Into the bigger one. Did I move you? Gee whiz. I apologize. Okay, now I know I need the fours, right? But again, I use the fours I know are an Aurora Borealis, a glitzy one. So I use my, oh, look at that shine, I just love it. I use my wax stick. And I will sell you a few of them off of my Etsy site. I love them. It's just, uh, it's unscented wax, and it's in a pencil. It's a wax pencil. And, whoops, there it goes. And like I said, this is a little more difficult because of the accuracy. But that's what tweezers and fingers are for. Right? See, now I have to put my fingers over it to pop it back in. Make sure it's all popping in the right way. All right then. Where did that pee go? Alrighty. And I have a number three, too. Three as well. Are you eager to see this done? I am. <laughs> I only need one and it spilled out. Just exactly one. Yay! That's cool. Oh, I know I need the W. have a WW up here <laughs> for Wanda's work basket. I only need two, so don't put a whole bunch in the tray. Ooh, they are a lipstick red. I don't need that one anymore. You can also, if you don't want a wax stick, you can get plastic ends uh, to put on the end of your drill pen that work just as well. Mm -hmm. I have a you. Not a me, it's a you. Oh, I know, I hear you groaning. Okay, I have some dots, two little dots up here. They are like a lilac or lavender type of color. Do I have any more of the little dot? Yep, I have one other one. I knew I had another one down here. 
makes an interesting effect here. Ah, these brackets, I have a bunch of those. I must have missed it on the first time through. Here we go. It's like filling in the blanks. Seeing the picture come to life. Now the way I move through a picture is I'll start on that side on the um, if you're looking at it I start on the right side you know everybody starts something someplace different you don't have to start in the same place <laughs> as every, as other people do I mean I used to start at the bottom left and work my way across but I always kept getting my hand in the um, the sticky stuff and to to stop doing that you can get a separate release sheet or something like that that you can put down where your hand is but I, I go from when I'm in a section like this I usually go from the bottom right over to the left for that section um, I don't know it just it depends on what I feel like honestly I start different places on different paintings I like to do the first row at the very top upside down and that way I get a get a start. Uh, I do that because that way most of the painting is hanging over. And then I work my way down from the top in sections. I'll have to work on one complete one through a whip and chat to give you a good idea of how I do it and why I do it. Not so that not so that you are stuck doing it the same way. That's not why I would do that. I just want to give you an idea because I hear I see questions like that all the time. I saw another uh, a question just like that in uh, in one of the discussion forums like, well, oh shoot. See now that's that one opened up and now I got drills falling into the container here so I'm going to use this wax tool and pick them up and put them back in I know this is that's one of the problems with this type of storage unit it's that these little things come open every once in a while if you're not careful and they spill but I you know I try to catch it I try to catch it. All right, those big ones <clears throat> are always three tens. Oh, I'm just gonna dig right into the pile here for those few three tens. Right into the pot. Make sure that they're facing the right way on the pen when they come out. And I don't have the mess of clean. Oh, there's another one don't have the mess of driving them all back in. Oh, there goes the thing anyway. The klutz strikes again. That's one thing I am definitely. I am klutzy. I will spill things. I will fling things accidentally. I will bump into things and it bruises around my body that I don't know where I got them from. It doesn't matter. Does it? No. It does not. Aha, I have some arrows to put in. <clears throat> I'm getting there. I'm almost done this section. I love seeing it come to life like that. So the next section I will do is the one right down below here. This is the next one. Probably do it tomorrow night. Oh, there's a four up there that I missed. Gee whiz. Come on. Pick one up bad. That's it. Oh, I don't need those. Ah. Have a few of these. 
I will, um, I, you can't always see it uh, when you have the light box on. You can't always see what you've done because the light box kind of mutes the colors while you're working on it. So what I'm going to do is when I'm done with this, I'm going to turn the light box off underneath it so you can see more what I've done, how I've done it. Ah, let's see. These continue this on the way down. I don't know. I, just when I'm working on Joe Walls, there, there's so many discoveries to make. You know, th there's so much hidden in the picture that it just makes it fantastic to do. These little, ooh, discoveries on the way through. Okay, since there's a whole bunch of H, I'm going to use that. I need to pick up that four. And I know I should be doing that. wax pencil, but I'm just going to make sure that this one looks out of place. This black up here looks out of place, and I believe it is. I believe it's not the right color for that spot, so it was a weird looking spot. It's not a spot that I have. Um... What about that one? Yep, that one matches what's around it. So fee feel free to like, excuse me, feel free to change something out that doesn't quite look right. All right, down here are anchors. My daddy was in the Navy. Anchors away. Oh, I didn't tell you. My uncle that I told you that has Parkinson's. My uncle passed away last month. And I was working. I had just gone to visit him. And went to work. Right afterward. And I knew I was saying goodbye. And um, he uh, he passed a couple hours later after I was at work. And while I was at work, I got the phone call from the hospice. The hospice was calling the doctor's office and saying that one of their patients had passed and. My uncle had a, a unique spelling to his, his name. And as the hospice volunteer was spelling it, I'm like, oh, I know. And I told her, I said, hey, this is my uncle. And um, <clears throat> so we talked a minute while she was on the phone with me. They let me take a few minutes break to just gather myself again before I answered any more phone calls. And the funny, it's not funny thing, but it's, it's not funny. But uh, the same day, one of my co-workers, her mother, who was also on hospice, passed away. And she got the call that her mother passed. Coincidence. Same day, same way we found out. So, we haven't had the memorial service for him yet, but we will in May, beginning of May. And I'll be able to say a prayer for him then. You know, my aunt and uncle have always been supportive of of what my brother and I are up to. Um, my aunt was creative, is creative. She's in, she is going to be 90 this summer. 
She is 10 years older than my mom, who is 20 years older than me. Exactly. So, anyway, she used to design wedding gowns for Alfred Angelo. And one summer she got me a job in the factory, so I was pinning uh, lace on the bottoms of wedding gowns for the sewers. I did that. But she, she was even on, I have some pictures of her on Johnny Carson with her futuristic wedding gowns. Okay, look at this. Look at this. Divas, we have another section of Joe Wall done. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. All right, I'm being really silly. I knows that. I'm going to put my goodies away here. Oops. Gee whiz. Apologize that I bumped you here. All right. I am going to take off, I'm going to turn off the um, light box. And I'm going to turn off my extra shiny lights. There you go. That's the next section. So I'll show you the one right before it. Well, kind of. It's just because of the way I have it pinned on the other end. And that's the next section I'm going to do tomorrow night. Yep. So she's getting done. She's getting done. I'm getting to the bottom of the sea here with her. And that's done. I'll move over to the final section on the other side and get that done. And then I have one final section across the bottom to do. Not too much across the bottom left to do. All right. I thank you for keeping me company here at Wanda's Work Basket doing the Joe Wall. I love it when you can just move your hand over it. It is so smooth. So doing the Joe Wall, getting that, you know, in progress and for being able to use my, my little cover minders and my wax pot cover minder with sweet tangerine. Just gives you a blast of fun scent. You can find them on my Etsy shop. And I wish and pray that you have a wonderful week, that you have a blessed week, that you have a pain-free week, that you have a beautiful weather week, that you are blessed in some way, not just by hanging out here on this channel with me, but by hanging out with other friends, by doing the crafts that you love. And I just want you to have a blessed week. And I will see you the next time. Bye, divas.